Yes, I would like to ask a question related to what you just said before. Um, what happens to me is every time I'm in the presence of someone loving, um, I cry, or almost every time. And I was often wondering why that is. And now you just said again, um, you know, it's all in my mind. It's not, I don't, I do not cry because of you, but because of something in my mind. And I would like to know if this is my, if I cling on to the ego by crying and not wanting to join the love, or if the Holy Spirit, the love, is pulling up my sadness, my dirt, to clear it out. So my question is, am I clinging to the ego by crying, or is this a clearing process? Yes, it's, it is most definitely a clearing. And I know for myself, you know, when I think back to my, my adolescent years and my university years, that, that there was a lot of crying. It just felt like, like there was almost like a, a glacier of love and light that was pushing up all the darkness. You know, like when a glacier moves over a landmass, it takes trees that seem so solid, and that's like they're little toothpicks. Just pop, flick, flick, flick. <laughs> you know, these are like big trees. If there's a big, bigger pop, it's a bigger tree. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the landmass is just, it's so massive, it's like trees are like nothing, trees, rocks, anything. It's just going to move. And that's the way it is with the light in our mind, when we call on this love, it just pushes up anything unlike itself into awareness. Which is good, because it keeps pushing up, 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 until finally it comes <laughs> up fully into awareness, and we get to experience it in its full glory. But the, but the process is very much bringing the darkness to the light, and that's just the way that it works. So, yeah, in the parable of David, I cried and cried. I, I would cry in my basement, and my dog would lick the tears. That was the way the process went. I would go down, I would let all the emotions up, let all the tears up. I didn't know what I was crying about, often. It was just intense. And it was just a lot of tears, and then this pink, big pink tongue was slurping on both cheeks, and yeah, didn't have to fill the water bowl very much. Very <laughs> salty liquid, you know, just slurp, slurp, slurp. And this went on for a number of years. Then it went on into into the university years as well. So it's just I see tears coming out as just as just an expression of of the willingness to let go, and the willingness to emote, and to be in touch with those emotions as they move through, like the dark clouds are coming through. And then, um, I mean, I had it reflected, I used to listen to a lot of music, uh, it was one of those Crystal Gale songs, the title of it was, I cried the blue right out, right out of my eyes. <laughs> I thought, yep, that's the way it's going, it feels like. <laughs> there's any blue left after, <laughs> after all these tears, you know, we'll see. Um, so, so I, that's so different from thinking like, like, this is egoic. And they've done research on tears, actually, that, that they can chemically look at the tears and see the difference between sad tears and happy tears. They have different chemical compositions, just like we know in our consciousness that the love and joy feel a lot different than, than sadness and pain and hurt. Chemically, even, the, there's a difference in the tears. So, eventually, when you start getting in touch with all that love and light, and the, that's pushing everything up, you get in touch with that directly, and it comes into full awareness, you'd be ready for those kind of tears, where you can just have tears of gratitude, like overwhelming gratitude, where it's just the, just the tears just start rolling out. And it's again involuntary, but it's again expressive. They're just kind of, they're flowy, they're moving, and they're just an ex 
they're expressive of a movement, of an emotion, in terms of a physical manifestation. So yeah, you're, you're doing the right thing, and it's a good thing, it's not a, a bad thing at all. Thank you, Marlies. Open.